Welcome to the Sandro channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hi folks, Sandro here with World Cartoon News and Shenanigans. And today we have a very, very wacky one for you guys. I have to thank one of my subscribers, Anthony Garcia, for telling me about this because it truly is a wacky one. So Netflix has picked up a new series called Agent Elvis. Okay, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're like, is this is this the Elvis that you think it is? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, literally, they are putting Elvis Presley in the role of like James Bond. Okay, Agent Elvis. He's basically gonna be like a spy or something. He's gonna go around and get into all kinds of wacky fights. That looks like Richard Nixon. Uh, so maybe, yeah, this is probably a dated sort of a series back when Elvis was alive. So yeah, they're, they're just having Elvis do like all kinds of wacky, like spy mission. Like here he is on the moon. Like what the, <laughs> what the hell we got Elvis Presley on the moon. Okay. Now, now we've just gone full wild with it. Uh, and it does seem to be a more adult show. The characters do swear. I'm not going to play footage. Cause I got, I actually re-recorded this video two times. I got copyright claimed on the first one. Uh, so this time I'm not going to play and I'm just going to show pictures. I'm not going to play anything. Uh, I guess when it comes to Elvis Presley, they just want to get all the copyright claims they, they possibly can. And uh, so I'll just show some pictures. Um, we, you know, the animation does look nice. That's what I'll tell you guys. I, I watched through the, uh, the trailer already. I'm going to put it in the description down below for you guys. But it's a great looking trailer. Um, the animation, uh, we got some mysterious care. That actually looks kind of creepy, honestly. Uh, we got some mysterious characters here. It seems that he's going to have some kind of female spy love interest. Uh, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if that's going to be, uh, his actual like girl, like wife or his ex-wife from real life. I, I don't know. It's probably just going to be a random spy female character, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just so wacky to me. It's like this, somebody used like, you know, what would be cool if James Bond was just, or sorry, if Elvis Presley was just James Bond for some reason. Uh, so here we have, uh, you know, the female spy agent again with a gun. Um, you know, it, it does seem to be, uh, like I said, uh, more of an adult cartoon. We even have blood there, which is, you know, that's kind of a good sign. You know, I feel like there's not a lot of adult animation these days. So yeah, I might check this one out. I, I do like Elvis. You know, I did see the, um, I saw the documentary. It was very sad, especially the end of it. You know, his manager takes advantage of him and, you know, the ending was just so sad. You see him choking up and dying and it I th wasn't the end of it like real footage. Like the last couple minutes was like his last performance recreated or uh, they, like they, they show shots of like the actual footage and then. Uh, some scenes are like being reacted and stuff. It, it was pretty crazy. You guys should go watch that, uh, the documentary on Elvis that came out not too long ago, but you know, who thought, whoever thought that we needed like agent Elvis, you know, <laughs> like it's so weird agent Elvis. There he is. Uh, yeah. And apparently, wait, I saw somewhere, hold on. Is that like 40 seconds? Uh, yeah, it's apparently the same studio that made, uh, Spider-Man into the spider verse. So maybe that's why the animation is so cool looking here. Uh, but yeah, do you guys think they're going to bring us quality in agent Elvis? Cause, uh, it does look quality. It does look quality. I have to say, um, it, it looks very interesting. I do wonder what the hell the plot is going to be. Like, is he just going to be working for Richard Nixon and maybe he's just working for the American government? I have no idea, but, uh, he, they also have a pet monkey. Yeah. A pet monkey that, uh, kills people. <laughs> Uh, so this is just going to be a real weird show. Like I, I, I just like, I have no idea where they're going with it, but, uh, hopefully it ends up being pretty good. And honestly, the fan reception, this came out, the trailer dropped a week ago. Um, that's a decent amount of viewership. Not the best, like I've seen Netflix shows get way more, uh, trailer wise, but, um, I I've been reading through the comments. Most people are very positive to this, uh, idea, uh, which is kind of weird, you know, like sometimes when uh, somebody passes away like Elvis, right, people don't want them to like ruin the image of the celebrity. They don't want like people like profiting and making a new show based on that person. But uh, weirdly enough, everyone just seems to love Elvis and they just want him to be James Bond, you know, <laughs> uh, when I when I read comic books, I was the hero of the comic Elvis Presley. Ah, OK, maybe that's what they base this whole show off. Then that quote. Uh, looks like Archer. It does look like, I didn't even bring that up. Good point. It does look like Archer. Uh, if the writing is as good, I'm here for it. Yeah. Elvis never died. He just became an agent. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. I love the animation art style. Me too. Uh, me too. And it's like a mixture of Archer and Motor City. Indeed. 
Uh, I'm sold on the premise. Yeah, the premise is kind of wacky. All right, all right, all right. Elvis Presley. Uh, it sucks that all those other shows were canceled. Uh, yeah, so many shows from Netflix were canceled, and then they're like, you know what people need? Agent Elvis. <laughs> He never really died, you know, uh, but I'm glad to see Robert Valley doing long form animated series again. Hopefully Netflix gets their act together. Yeah, that's another thing. Will the show be a one and done, right? We've seen it a lot of time where it's like the show inside job that was like people thought that was going to last like at least a few seasons. It was a one and done folks. It got one season and it was out of here. So will Elvis suffer the same fate? It is an action show. You know, action shows that are higher budget. Will this show get axed very quickly? I don't know. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned, but uh, I, I just really hope that uh, it does make a comeback. Or uh, if it gets a, or sorry, I, I hope it gets like a season two or season three and is able to fully tell a story. This is something that a lot of shows don't get to do anymore. They get canceled so quickly. They don't get to tell like a big, long story. I hope it gets a nice long run here with Mr. Agent Elvis, and uh, I hope it has good quality. I hope they actually use, like, I hope they, um, you know, Netflix actually is allowed to use a bunch of the Elvis Presley songs because it's like, we have Elvis Presley here. Come on, tell me we're at least going to be able to use the songs in the show uh, to spice things up. You know, that's what I hope. And uh, or maybe they're going to have whoever the voice actor for this Elvis character is. Maybe they're going to have him re-record a bunch of the Elvis songs uh, just to save money or something. I, I don't know, but I want I really want to see Elvis songs uh, appear in this show. Uh, so that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, I have high hopes for this one. And uh, again, we don't get a lot of action shows, so we really have to take this one in here and uh, hope it's quality. So that's going to be the end. Please let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy, Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye-bye. And uh, <laughs> I hope you guys love Agent Elvis. coming. So oh, yeah. When is this coming? March uh, 2023. I almost forgot to mention the date. Uh, so there you go. Only on Netflix, March 2023. There you have it, folks. Peace out. Bye-bye. And uh, hopefully this is a good show. The end.